You are now listening to the Perceptive Readers Podcast. The Hulk Made Me Hungry Hi, I'm James Lynch and welcome to this Park Books Update Moment. I have to tell you right up front, in the beginning of starting this podcast, which I thought about over the past 24 hours, if not a week prior to this, I said, am I going to be able to keep a straight face? In thinking about it and preparing it in my mind, I've had a hard time doing just that. So I'm just letting you know, because you probably started off when you read the title, The Hulk Made Him Hungry? Well, let me explain. First, the reason why I was thinking about this in last week, because, you know, there are a lot of hard workers out there (laughs) and you wouldn't disagree with me on that. Even young people, a lot of you, once again, have different occupations where you work very hard. So I just want to ask you this question. Are you getting the proper nutrients or nutrition to keep your body going? Yes, You do feel invincible, (laughs) that's granted. However, do you, and now you're probably already getting an idea of where this is about to go if you listen to the background, but do you sometimes feel like you don't have, you know, enough time to eat the full meal that you want to eat? Well, let's get into what can help you. You know, I am a advocate for smoothies okay uh you know there are a lot of uh, stores uh, around the nation i don't know if not around the world that can take items that are very nutritional and taste downright good you see that will not only give you the nutrition but it will fill your belly as well and guess what else the taste is out of this world that brings me to One day when I was walking, you know, in one of those stores and I saw them advertising the Hulk. The Hulk was on sale at that because I'm just letting you know, yes, uh, (laughs) you know, some of these drinks, yes, they cost as much as a meal too. I mean, starting at around even $10. Well, this store was having a sale. And it was like $3 off. So you know already my mouth was starting to water. And I said, hey, I want that. I mean, I'm just getting hungry just thinking about it. My taste buds was crying. My taste buds were hungry, okay? And so on top of that, if you look at the ingredients, and that's what I want to tell you, because I even looked up some of the ingredients um, before I did this podcast, And you can see all the vitamins. I mean, and yet the protein powder and everything else that can be added besides the uh, bananas, besides the chocolate, besides the other types of fruits that you might want to throw in there with strawberries, you can get a different type of um, bodybuilding. You see uh, enzymes and amino acids and things in the powder that they may throw in there. That's why it's called the Hulk. Because not only, let's say if you want to uh, have a hard day of work of lifting things or, or once again working out or even jogging, hey, the stuff that they can put in there can make you feel like the Hulk. Do you see what I'm talking about? Well, now that you know that it was the Hulk that made me hungry, which was a drink, I'm getting getting ready to go and get my smoothie for the day. No, it's not a Hulk, but it does have different things that you would probably still appreciate from leafy greens to other types of vitamins and items that are in there. Hey, it is a great immune system booster, okay? You will be strong and boosted up like the Hulk if you get into some type of regimen at least several times a week. Uh, hey, if I had my choice, I would drink this stuff every single day. But it's mostly on days that I know that I'm going to do a lot more heavy lifting. However, you now know the Hulk can be in you. Just go get that smoothie. I'm James with this Park Books Update Moment. Thank you as always for being here. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers Podcast. 
remember until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality. <music>